Content warnings. This episode contains topics that might be triggering to some listeners. This episode includes major character death. This is Hamlet. It's gonna be a bloodbath. We have gun violence, knife violence, blunt force trauma violence. We also have discussion of parental death, murder and suicide, funerals and grieving, extreme family drama, and revenge. Please listen with caution. Welcome home, Hamlet. Have a good time at the mental hospital? No? You escaped? What did you do then? Oh, just a bit of light grave robbing. (laughs) I can't possibly expect this to go well. And yet... Hello, Hamlet. You got here pretty quick. We thought it would be upwards of an hour, yet. Well, that answers one of my questions. You've sided with your father, I see. Why wouldn't I? I suppose I thought we shared some common ground. You know, before we met, Claudius told me you just lost your mother. I thought that might give you a modicum of sympathy. (laughs) Dad wasn't kidding. You people really will believe anything. Wow, I told him I thought that was laying it on too thick, that you'd see straight through it, but... (laughs) I guess not. So... You lied about that, too. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Is Rosie in on this, too, then? Did she lead us to the cemetery so you could try to kill Feely? It didn't work. She's tougher than she looks. (sighs) Oh, well. Practice makes perfect. And to answer your question, no. Rosie didn't lead you there. Killing your friend was an attempt to make the best of a bad situation when my sister decided she didn't want to play her part. (sighs) She's currently warming a closet upstairs, thinking about her actions and all that. Speaking of your actions, I'm assuming you know why I'm here? You probably think you're here to save the day. Reclaim your place as man of the family, run my father out of town, and become a hero. Is that about right? I'm not trying to be a hero. I'll be whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh, so that is where the gun got to. You know it's cursed, don't you? It spent some time laid to rest beside my father. I stopped by the cemetery to retrieve it before I came here. But, in the event that didn't work, it just means I can't miss when I shoot, right? Won't you come inside, Hamlet? It's my house, so, yes, I will. Where is he? Who? Your father, Claudius. Whereabout is he slithering currently? The kitchen. Lead the way. Julia, who was at the door? Me. Ah, hello, Hamlet. We were waiting for you to get here. Please, take a seat. No, I'm not here for any more posturing. In fact, right now, I have a gun pressed into your daughter's back. And if you don't get out of my house and stay away from my mother, I'm going to use it. (laughs) Oh, Hamlet. You don't expect me to believe that you would pull the trigger on your own, do you? After the fuss you made after the incident with Polonius. So that was you. I'm not the one who killed him. It was your hand. You shot the gun. But I'm not the murderer. No. Dad. Yes, of course. Hamlet, drop the gun or I will respond in kind. You're in no position to make that demand. Ah, you're right. Gertrude, would you please come here? Yes, Claudius. Gertrude, if you would be so kind, go over to that knife block and pick a knife. Certainly. Mom? Mom, what are you doing? How's this one? Perfect. Now, hold it to your throat. No! Mom, snap out of it! Mom, can you hear me? Mom, what the hell did you do to her? Only what you have required me to do. Would you consider... Releasing Julia now? I... Fine. I'll hold that gun for you, too. Wouldn't want it going off. 
I can't believe you brought it with you. Never bring any weapon to a fight unless you want it used against you. Maybe I'm ready to die. If you were, you wouldn't have gone to such great lengths to come back here and confront me. You still want revenge. If I have to die to get it, so be it. Maybe you'd give yourself up. But what about Gertrude? Would you sacrifice your mother to avenge your father? That would leave you with quite the conundrum. There'd be no avenging her beyond punishing yourself. If you've demonstrated one thing about yourself in the short time I've known you, Hamlet, it's that you must always find someone to blame. You couldn't accept your father's death with suicide. Someone had to be responsible. You couldn't admit to killing Polonius. It was my fault. And here, now, you won't put yourself at fault for the death of your mother. You act like it's a bad thing that I'm not willing to make myself a murderer. But you would be if you still had that gun, wouldn't you? You would shoot me dead if I wasn't able to slit your mother's throat quicker than the bullet could kill me. I won't deny that I came here to kill you. I still aim to do it. With a gun pointed at your heart and a knife at your mother's throat? I doubt it. You've got quite the little servant in your daughter, Claudius. The other one didn't train up so well, did she? Rosie will be back on track shortly, I'm sure. What now then, Claudius? You have me at your mercy. What hole will you dump me in this time? Another hospital? My grave? I'm in favor of the grave at this point. You know far too much. And you're too strong-willed to extend a thrall over, at least if I wanted it to be an effective one, like I have over your mother. She was more than amenable to my control, as depressed as she was. It was like... What's the phrase? Taking candy from a baby? What was that? I believe, yes, things have just gotten significantly more interesting. We're in the kitchen, if you'd care to join us. Horatio! Laertes, you bastard! Let him go, he's choking! That's kind of the point of a chokehold, isn't it, Hamlet? I swear to God. Uh -uh. No moving. Stay right where you are. Hamlet, I'm sorry. I tried to run, but he's... he's deranged. Oh, I'm deranged? I'm not the one who killed people. According to who? Like I said, unstable people are markedly easier to control. Let Horatio go. He has nothing to do with this. Let him and my mother walk out of here and I'll give you no more trouble. Tempting, but I don't trust the offer. I have a better idea. Let's see who survives, you or Laetes, and then work from there. Laetes, try to kill my nephew, please. It would be my pleasure. Laertes, stop. We've already done this once at the hospital, and your sister chose me over you. There's nothing to be gained by beating me now. Our business together is over. It is not over. It won't be over until you're as dead as you made my father. Don't make me hurt you. You don't last half a minute without your servant backing you up. Or Ophelia fighting your battles. I should have known I'd have to take him down before coming after you. Foolishness on my part. Too much talking, not enough killing. Can I use a knife? You can use whatever you want, so long as you get the job done. If you see my father in the afterlife, tell him I'm the one who sent you to him. As a gift, so he can get his own revenge for what you did. Goodbye, Hamlet. <laughs> Horatio! Christ, that's a lot of blood. Horatio, move! She's got a gun! <laughs> Horatio! Outside interference was not part of the plan, Hamlet. That is cheating. I think that informs my decision on what comes next. Gertrude, go ahead and... What on earth? Hello, Claudius. Son. Dad, 
You have no place here anymore. I've already beaten you. Get out. And let you destroy my family. Claudius, if you would just talk to me, you could have been a part of it. None of this had to happen, don't you see that? Of course it didn't have to happen. You're the one who doesn't understand. Explain it to me then. I wanted it to happen. I loved you once. Even when you failed and took advantage of our parents' kindness. I can see that the person you used to be, willing to try and ambitious, has rotted away to this. Now you threaten everything I still do love. And I can't let you have that. You can't have anything else but my life. And what could you possibly do about it? Hamlet, I told you to let my death go and save yourself. You did. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I only wanted you to find peace. Find it now, whatever that means to you. I can't help you for long. Help me? Move now. Take the gun. End this. You're forgetting that... Wait. What are you doing to me? Why can't I move? Now, Hamlet. Ah! 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 No! Hamlet, you wouldn't doom your mother. But I doom you. Gertrude, now! <coughs> Mom! No! <coughs> Mom! <coughs> Mom! Come on, don't do this! I need you! You're the only family I have left! You can't! Move over. Let me help keep pressure. Horatio, you're... Shoulder hit. I'll be fine. You hear that, Mom? Horatio's gonna be fine. You'll be fine too, you- Hamlet. Yeah, Mom. I'm here. I've got you. Gun. Murder. Murder. <coughs> Mom, come on. Come on. Tell me how I'm a murderer. Mom. Hamlet. <laughs> you win, but not without a price tag. Dad, don't talk. Keep pressure on it. Keep... Oh, oh God. Dad. <laughs> so, so that's it then. You won. Julia, just get out. And what do you think, Hamlet? Do you want to make the same choice as your father and set me loose upon the world to ruminate on all you've taken from me? <gasps> Julia! How did you get out? Julia is dead. He's dead. Hamlet killed him. Please. Let's just leave. I can forgive you. You're my sister. I I love you. We can leave all of this behind us. No one has to lose anyone else. What do you think about that idea, Hamlet? Just go. Bad call. Sorry, Rosie. You picked your side, and I picked mine. No, I am picking a side now. Your side. Please, Julia. Unlike my father, I don't intend to wait to take my revenge. Don't be sad, Hamlet. You'll be back with your mother and father in just a minute. No! No, Julia, no! Horatio. Now it's over. Come back. Come back, please! Julia, you can't leave me all alone. You just shot her. She... She's dead. <laughs> what do we do now? What do I do now, you mean? No, I'm just as in on this as you are. I killed Laertes. I just saw Julia. I'm already on the hook for killing Polonius. There's no reason for you to throw your life away as well. That's completely out of the question. Please, just let me do this for you. 
one last thing, and then it can finally be over. You go to jail! I'm not going to jail, Horatio. Then... You're not going to... I'm not going to kill myself. But I am going to choose my own ending. 